I'm Charlie, and you're watching Erie Extreme. Today, we're heading somewhere I've never been, the Shenango River. We got a sweet challenge, and I've lined up a group of guys excited to help me be huge. Yeah. 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 We're pulling an all-nighter in search of big fish on a tiny pole. That's what's coming up on Erie Extreme. Uh. I'm Dave. For the past 20 years, I've traveled the country fishing bass tournaments for a living, and nothing else compares to the spot where I was blessed to be born and raised. Doing things we've never done before. Doing places we've never gone before. Yeah, baby! Basically, just goofing off in this awesome place we call home. This is Eerie, Eerie Extreme. <laughs> Yo, so I got a challenge for you. This challenge comes to us from Doug from Kinzu, PA. Ooh, I don't think we've ever been to Kinzu, but I think we should go sometime. It's very pretty. Anyway, Doug challenges you to catch the biggest fish ever caught on Erie Extreme. Too bad I already did that. Duh. Anyway, there is a catch, of course. You need to catch this fish using the smallest fishing rod ever used on Erie Extreme. You have eight hours to complete this challenge, should you choose to accept it. You'll never beat my fish, but good luck anyway. Challenge accepted. Sorry, Bree. Your fish is about to become history. So we either got to cut a rod, which stinks, because we use these 23s all the time. Yeah, I don't know, man. They're all 26s. You're not going to be able to turn a catfish. Yeah. Dude, it's like dropping a bowling ball with a string tied to it down a flight of stairs. Are you going to hold a bowling ball with that? If it breaks, it breaks. I wonder if it will break. It probably will, huh? It probably will. All we got to do is cut an inch off. I just want to pull on it. Oh, look at it. I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's not going to work. It's not breaking. Dude, we're doing it with this. Here, the scissors. Look. These guys want to cheat because they're like Terry. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. No problem. Warranty will cover it. I'm, I'm encouraged now. So we need a bigger you, reel. You don't have to put a new tip on it. You can just use that. Yeah, it's 22 inches now. We fish with 23 inch rods on the show all the time, so that had to be done. I'm getting, I'm starting to get excited. How much time we got? Step one of the challenge. Complete. So now we're heading to East End Angler to get Kirk, the bait, and some cash. Well, we're robbing the East End Angler today. Probably shouldn't be filming all this. Did you ever try the camera? Bye bye. Um, oh, he's coming, he's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to East End Angler. <laughs> you got any tips how we can catch a big catfish? Here you go. What? Is that legal? Uh, I don't think so. Should we call the fish commission? No. <laughs> anyway, we're going back to check the bait we caught yesterday. If you want to see a video of us jacking these giant bluegills, head over to our YouTube channel. This is the scariest part. We got to transport the uh, bluegills alive. We got to have them in the truck for two hours, but we do have the minnow, man. The minnow man? Probably. This is the only part I'm nervous about. Getting the minnows down there alive. What's it look like? Just drive as if you have a 300 gallon tank of water in the back of your truck. <laughs> so we're meeting up with the gang for today in Edinburgh. It's about the halfway point. How's it going? Good. It's nice to meet you. Quick bluegill check. It does look like we lost a lot of water. Oh wow, that's great. How late are you really gonna be? Because we're wanting to go. Can go. How late are you going to be? Um, just past Old State Road, so about five minutes. What's up, Nate? What's going on, man? Hey, I almost didn't see your truck. <laughs> Terry, what happened to your hair? Where are you going? I lost it in the 70s. <laughs> That's not the only thing he lost. So Skippy's late, as always. We got to get the gear packed in his truck and get some food for the night. And how lucky could we be? So what are you doing here? We're just selling produce. If you give all of our guys, like, two pieces of fruit, and then we, we put you on TV. Would that be a fair trade? <laughs> do you have the sure. author, are you authorized to do that? <laughs> I'll authorize it, okay. yep. Do we know you? No. No. He what do you do? Like do you? Definitely get plums, prunes over here. Thank you. You're welcome. My goal is to get you guys both a raise. Nice to meet you guys. Yep, see ya. Are you done yet? We gotta go. We're done, but I gotta put some air in there. No, you don't. Yes, I do. 
Come on, Terry, we're no, late. We're not late. Where's your daddy? The scientific name for a flathead catfish is Pyrodictus olivarius. <laughs> that was good. Good. That was good. Well, we finally made it. Good job. Oh. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, tight squeeze. That's a tight squeeze even for a little guy. The tiniest rod ever. Catch the biggest catfish. Here's the gills. I only have two hands though. Terry. Where's he going? Oh, yep. oh, that sucks. I hate poison ivy. Is it not easy to get down there? It is, but there's poison ivy. Oh. It's all right here, Dave. Hey, you're touching it. Now all we gotta do is gracefully scale the cliff. Really, Mike? I said gracefully. I think I just got poison ivy all over my hands. Well, oh, you fell right through it. Yeah, I know. I know oh, I did. Oh man. Yeah, I'm gonna be covered in I can't believe you fell. Yeah, yeah I, <laughs> I, I, I went I went down. I wanna get my hands clear so I don't do this tumble. Who's going across? Okay, we're gonna split up. Half on this side of the river, half on the other side. My, <laughs> are you serious? I fell on both sides. New Terry in the house. All right, so here we are. Little treacherous coming down. What brings you today, young fella? Catch some catfish, I guess. Nice. Looks pretty good, don't it? Like you ever fish here before? Only a few times. <laughs> I sense sarcasmic energy. Okay, so hook me up, Dad. Hunter's not really my dad. What do I need? But he has been here before. Here it is. Looks natural. We're gonna cut a bunch of bait and let you guys take it over there. Where's Terry? Terry's supposed to be coming over there, so if we can get a hold of him. Seriously, Terry's just sitting in his car? Yeah. Where are you? I, where I'm supposed to be, I'm waiting at the vehicle with other gear. So come over to the top of the hill and we'll throw you a bucket with bait in it. Kirk, you know what poison ivy looks like? Yep. You just need a bucket so we can take fish across. Okay, as if I can cast this, where is it supposed to go? Okay, girls and boys. How do we cut them? Just take the big ones. You want the head section, the body section, and the tail section. And the smaller ones, just cut them right in half. Take a basket and tie it off. Yeah. Yep. Let it float in the creek. Hey, who's got the bug spray? All right, here we are. Is this poison ivy? We do have a question. Nate was just rolling in this. We want to know if it's poison ivy or not. Anybody know? Should I just put this tail on here or not? Yeah. You think that's good? Really? That's it, bud. Gross. This is not bass fishing. So I've actually kayaked this a couple times just to get the contour. It's pretty rough structure on the bottom. Rock. I'm so confident I'm gonna hold this and count to ten and something else. Get them walking through the woods there. Get Mike falling down. Hey Mike, can you do that again? I made it this time! You guys got enough bait? Aaron? Yeah. It's taken a while, but we're finally getting all the lines in the water and we're ready for some catfish action. Please support our Erie Extreme partners. Marquette Savings Bank. We create website design and marketing. The Avonia Tavern. Fishing Online. Bentley Tree Care. East End Angler. Palmero Toyota. The Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. Driscoll Tax and Accounting. RW Petruso Hearing and Audiology. And Visit Erie. It's a beautiful day. This episode is sponsored in part by Someday I'll Tackle. What's under your bobber? I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of excited. We have to beat this challenge. I don't even know what the biggest fish we ever caught was. Hey, is this how you came down? <laughs> oh boy. You know what poison ivy looks like, right? Yeah, I just walked through it. Nice. So, trying to call Mark. That's kind of dumb that we don't even know what the biggest fish we ever caught was. I'm gonna freak out when we get a bite. Seriously, I can't even. Can you imagine? What's up, brother? Hey, what's going on? Long time no here. I know, I've been busy with work. You need to quit. I know. I got a question. Yeah. And we're trying to catch the biggest fish we've ever caught on Erie Extreme. That muskie that Lee caught. What's your estimate on the weight on that? On that one? Mine's eight. <laughs> I don't know. Yes. Eight, 18? That's exactly what I thought. All right, I just wanted to make sure we're in the ballpark. We're gonna call it 18. See ya. Okay, we're running with 18 pounds. That's definitely doable. You excited? Yeah. You excited, Kirk? Yeah. Really? Hey, 
They usually don't start till 7.30. Okay, what's the situation here? Here's the situation. We've been here for quite a while and we haven't even had a sniff yet. It's still early, but I think we're all getting a little anxious for some action. We need a huge fish. Bree's carp earlier this year was around 17 pounds, but the muskie that Mark's cousin Lee caught in season two was at least 18 pounds. So to be fair, that's the mark we have to beat. All we have to do is keep casting, praying that one of those monster cats that this river is known for will show up. And it bites on the right rod. You know this is a tournament, right? Where, oh yeah, look at this. Oh, on, fish yeah. on. Finally. He's got it. Should we go? Mm -hmm. No. Hopefully he didn't drop it. <laughs> I knew as soon as I took a bite of my sandwich. I hope it's a little. Oh, it's a stick. Oh, I got a good one. A stick? Isn't that like our third stick of the year? Get off my sandwich, Buck. Hey, fish mm -hmm. over here. Really? You flying? Yep. Oh, yeah. That's a big one. <laughs> Oh, that was quick. I can't reel with this hand. I got a mouthful of food. That's a nice fish for my first Shenango River flathead. Nice. But it's nowhere near big enough. As hard as that thing pulled, I can't imagine catching one over 18 pounds, let alone on that tiny rod. Man, I hope it happens. Kirk, should we keep one to try to eat it? I'll clean this water. <laughs> We'll let him go. <laughs> He's probably about five or six pounds. We're letting him go. We need his mama. See you, bud. Slimes. We're throwing this out again. Ready? Yep. Beautiful. That's a flathead chocolate chip cookie right there. Big fish with a tiny pole. <laughs> Big fish. <laughs> Back. Here's uh, chips and some ice coffee. I couldn't find kettle cooked, so I just got regular barbecue. I'm not for walk climbing down this thing. I don't know if we should be out here after dark. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm serious, dude. Having fun yet, Mike? Huh? Bash. 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 <laughs> Come on, the little engine that could. You can do it, little guy. Fish on the ice rod. Fish on. Oh my gosh. He's on there. Nice. Do you think it's a giant? Boy, it feels big. We got one on the ice rod. It's huge. It's huge. Dude, I don't care if we have to go swimming. Seriously. Oh boy, this could be the one. <gasps> something weird happened there. Oh, dude, that's crap. big, dude. That's big, dude. He's stuck on something. No, he's just dead. No, he's stuck on something. Was that a gunshot? Mama. Nice. Big fish stuck on something. Yeah, I don't think this 22 inch rod has enough gusto. How far can we go? Uh, quite a ways. He's got me snagged in a tree. Dang it. He's big too. But I can still feel him on there. This is horrible. That might do it. Yeah. I think he's out. No, he's still in it. I can feel the tree that he's in. I can feel it. Not very far. Awesome, he's going in. Terry! We need you to go in. Can you go in and get this fish? It's like literally eight feet in front of us snagged. Oh, come on. You got shoes and pants on, what can happen? Hunter, how deep is it right there? 10 foot. Ooh. Ooh he yeah. He's out, he's, he's out. out. Oh. <laughs> Oh. oh yeah. That's awesome. I can't believe he, I can't believe he came out of there. I can't believe he caught him on that little. <laughs> Your scale, if it says 18.1, we win. By far the biggest one I've ever caught on this rod. 97. 97. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that was exciting. So the fish is what? 97 and 26 inches. <laughs> cool. Got him on a tickle stick. How'd it feel, buddy? <laughs> we gotta get a picture. Thanks, brother. Man, that was crazy. I don't know if you got that on camera, but that rod was saved by that little tiny, we tied an eight inch piece of 
fluoro on there and it saved the rod. Hey, I'll tell you what though, now we know we can handle one. I think we got a good feel for it. It's crazy to think we need one up. twice that size. Fish number two, still not big enough, but that puts the East Side Gang up two to zip. Dude, that was freaking fun as heck. Are we doing the same thing? Yep. Worked. All right, ready? Yeah. Bingo. Should that we yeah. make the line? I don't know, it's up to you. I, I, I'm comfortable. Yeah, I mean, if you're comfortable with it, that It takes that two works. seconds to undo it. Yeah, have you guys not had a bite? No. Kirk? No. I'm telling you, it's every time I start putting food in my mouth, we get a bite. You keep eating. I'm trying. Oh, <laughs> You guys got the camera on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, his rod is bent. Yeah, buddy. Holy cow. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably 25 awesome. pounder. This is a big fish. <laughs> this is a big fish. Oh, That's dude. a big fish. Big fish. Oh my God, look at this thing. Oh, and you still got your bait. Holy smokes, that's a big fish. Jeez. That's a big fish. Nothing good, nothing good, that's good, bud. Oh my God. Woo! Oh, wow. Holy yeah. cow. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, he's a pig. <laughs> Woo! That that might be a 20. Dude, look how big it is. Look. I said 18. Yeah. 18.6. That's probably the heaviest fish I've ever caught in my entire life. Did you see my pole going over? Yeah. Well, score one for the west side, boys. Technically, that might be the biggest fish ever caught on EE. But one thing's for sure, it's a half pound bigger than Breeze Carp. You'll never beat my fish, but good luck anyway. Yes, it's a fish. Poor Breezy. Oh my gosh. It is. <laughs> How big is it? Cute one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's like a six pounder. If that. Five, five, maybe. Real Look fun. at their beady little eyes. Look. Hey, bud. I caught him on a bluegill. Time to get wet. Tell your daddy, take that okay? Yeah. Coolness. That makes the score three to one. Hunter, you're back. Yeah. Did it look beautiful? It was nice. Should we do a gut check? Do a gut check. Gut check. Okay, so according to Hunter, our baits have to be juicy. If it's clean, the cats can't smell it. Could you pass me another gill, please, fine sir? Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I've never had anyone hand me one of these before. Here. It's so deep right there, golly. I'll be so surprised if we don't all have poison ivy in the morning. Me too. Sorry. <laughs> How long does you do the leader? That long? We go like 18 to 20 inches. Like that? Yeah, that's plenty. Okay, hook me up, bud. What do we got? We got parts? You gotta go cut a fish. I ain't cutting You gotta get your hands through. Hook me up. Boy. Who's the guy? Take your knife over there. You wanna cut it. No, I'm not you cutting it. You gotta cut it. Too. No, I'm not cutting it. Come on. Hook me up. <laughs> Come on, there's no knife over here, nothing. How do you open this, any idea? Big fat. No. Any idea how to open this, boys? Oh, it goes down. I was trying to pull it up. Got it. I knew that. What? Seriously? Seriously. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you cut them from the belly. Yeah. So you don't cut yourself. I'm not gonna cut myself. Really? This is, get out. Oh. I cut myself with the knife. Did you really? Yeah. Here, finish cutting this. I sliced my finger open. Most guides tell you how to do stuff. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, that sucks. Okay. We cut ourselves with Shenango River water. Okay, here we go. Thanks, guys. Yeah, you want to throw it as far down as you can? I don't know. I'm going to try to go. Yeah, I agree. You ready? Yeah. I think you're going to live. Oh. <laughs> What? Fantastic. It was a good <laughs> throw, Fantastic. Was it, was it good? Yeah. Okay. I'm injured. Man down. Dude, I'm lucky I didn't cut my finger off. Yeah. It you... slid right off of there. I was like, I was scared to look. He just cut it from the top down. Let's get a good look at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Idiots. Anyway, now Kirk's got one. Yes. Fish on. Get the light, get the light on Kirk. Hold on. I got Hold on. I'm Terry is all you need to say. And then we'll all understand. Got one, Kirk? Sweet. There you go, buddy. Where's that, that spotlight? Yeah, buddy. Good job, Kirk. All right. What do you eat? A bluegill. Whole one. Did he bite it really hard? Yeah. Oh, hello. Nice job, Kirk. Oh, they're eating well. Nice job. Nice job, man. Yeah. Finally. 
On the board. Yeah. That's two over here. Got one, Kirk. What? Another one? Fish on, fish on. Oh, they got the net out. Nice job, Kirk. Yeah, buddy. Nice. Woohoo. Oh, that's big. That's bigger than 10. That might be a 10. Well, dude, we're tied. Now. The Minnow Man is on fire. Come on, little engine that could. And just like that, it's three to three. Got one. Nice. <laughs> They're biting now. Who's reeling them in? Gary. Great. Now Skippy's gonna beat us. Oh yeah. Is he is he snagged? He might be snagged. See if you can't pull him up out of there. He had him. I saw the rod. It's snagged now. Gone. That sucks. What time is it? It's like 11:30 almost. It'd be crazy if I forgot to open the bell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Yeah. yeah. Me and Hunter, we got our little casting trip dialed in big time. Oh my, oh, oh. <laughs> uh oh. In the tree. Can you reach it? Are those poisonous huckleberry fins? I'll try one more time. Ready? Yep. <laughs> oh. Really? <laughs> okay, that was a little less pain. You're gonna give me another try Wait. after all that. Yeah, hold on. Wait, we got issues. <laughs> all right. Don't hook me in the face. Yes. That's pretty yes. dang good. Yes. Okay, so we're putting this 30 pound test around the reel handle. We don't want to lose a rod. Hiding it behind this rock. And that, my friends, is fishing. Fresh gills? Fresh gills. Are there any little ones in? Oh, those are good ones, huh? Oh, yeah. Kirk's got one. He got three bites in a row. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Dang, that'll be three unanswered from the minnow man if they can land it. That was quick. That was quick. That was quick. Is that a big one? You guys got four over there now, right? Nice. Nice. Did you see it? Yeah. Man, they're biting now. Ooh, fish. Yeah. Oh, a little rod. It's a good one. Streamer, dude. Fish on. Another one on the tiny pole. This is so awesome. I don't think he's on there, though. I think he got off. Yeah, it took forever to tighten that drag, too. Who's the official line breaker? We're like, what time is it? 125. Hey, they're picking up though, man. Aaron's got one. <laughs> the West Side boys are burying us now. And everyone's caught a flathead tonight except Uncle Skippy. And it's getting late. Here we go. Let's clap for Aaron. <laughs> yeah. Hey girl, I think we both got four. We got four and you got four, right? Yeah. <laughs> they're clueless. They don't even know they're beating us five to three. How about the next one wins and we go home and eat jelly beans? Unless you want to stay out all night, next fish wins a new pair of pants. My pants are ruined. Looks like we're gonna lose. So we're gonna say 2.30, we're done. Kirk's got one. Dang, they're gonna win. Oh, he's <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh, that's too bad, I mean. Bummer. Yeah, bummer. Well, this is the last cast. We need a miracle now. No. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. I didn't even come back down at all. No. In the tree. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, let's try that again. There you go. Money. Uh, ten more minutes. They got a yeah. fish. Get the lights. <laughs> lights. Oh, oh, that's a bigger one. It must not, must not be done. The minnow man is on fire. Oh, oh no. they're gonna beat us. Wait, time's up. <laughs> Look what time it is. Look at this. Them suckers beat us. Flathead or channel? It's a channel. They have four tails, right? That's a channel. Yeah, you freaking whack them. Yeah, this one's a Photos. channel because it has the, yeah. the fork tail. Yep. He's missing a whisker. Anyway, time's up. Losers. All right, that's it. We're done. We lost the challenge and we lost the little tournament. Packing it up. Okay, let's wrap it up, boy. Alrighty. Oh, man. We can't sit in my truck with these dirty butts. How do I look? Nice. I'm soaked, too. I, my underwear is wet. Woo! That was fun. How are we gonna dump that? Uh, Who brought the poison ivy with him? Where? Right there. Really? <laughs> That's not poison ivy. Yes, it is. That's funny. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, man. Where did that come from? I don't know, but it was right there. Well, it was fun. Well, those guys are drowning themselves. Uh, we had a good time. We failed the challenge. 
but a lot of action, got a lot of bites. Unfortunately, we didn't catch a ton and we didn't get a 20 pounder on a 22 inch rod. Maybe we'll get to see somebody get dumped. Get out of the way, don't hurt yourself. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Perfect. <laughs> There's a bluegill. I've never seen Dave move that fast. Man, I am soaked all the way over my, I mean, shins. Look at that. You? Oh. I'm anxious to see how many of us are itchy tomorrow. Well, what can I say? Thanks to Doug for another awesome challenge. Special thanks to Hunter for putting us on the big flatheads. Don't forget you can catch last week's episode on our YouTube channel, Erie Extreme. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell while you're there. See you next week.